Hi guys, we're the Neighborly. My name is Brock, and this is Arissa. Hello. Every time we release music, we want to redimensionalize it and put a little personal spin on it and tell you guys why it matters to us and why we hope it matters to you and enrich the experience for you. So this latest release is actually about as personal as it gets. It's a little bit of an autobiography song. I sat down and wrote the melody for this thing and the concept for this thing, and I sent it to Arissa. And the content really came from a ton of conversations that Arissa and I had about, you know, what is it like to be a mother of three and also a musician? What is that like? And what, what is that like to, to reconsider what success looks like in the context mm -hmm. of all that stuff? There's a lot of people that leave their hometown. They don't think there's any thing there for them, or they're trying to start a new life somewhere else. It's just too small and, for uh, their youth it's, and their <laughs> excitement. <laughs> right. It's true. Um, all great things, but I think as what happened to me, life starts to come around and you start to think about your roots and, and where you came from and where you have friends and where you have connections, especially after I started having children heading back to where my roots were and my community growing up was the more important thing at that point. And I know you guys can relate to this. You choose these things and you feel like by choosing these things, you have to give up these things. Right. The neighborly actually is a real testament to the fact that I think you can live a rich life before your children and do the things that you love and prioritize things in your own way. You don't have to let other people's definition of what music should be or how mm -hmm. how you should behave and what's legitimate what's not legitimate mm -hmm. and i think there's there's all this stuff is in that song you know like the the fire and the passion of youth and everybody in this town is just not getting me i'm out of here <laughs> and then you um taste a little bit of that nectar of the larger sort of macro world and when it doesn't necessarily personally care about you and so you begin to slowly miss people from knowing your name when you, you know, drop your mail off at the mailbox or whatever, whatever the case might be. And at the end of the day, contentment can find you there. Right. But uh, it's a big jambalaya of concepts. We find all that stuff in this song. Got all of that the second you sent me that song. I thought this is exactly summing up where we are, how we got here, and um, particularly my journey. So that was really meaningful to me. And then as a sad note, it's our most country song. <laughs> That yes. we've, it, it, we tried to split the difference because we're an Americana duo. Yes. And Aris is not that big of a fan of country. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. They might be mad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan, so you can still like me. But you know what's interesting? Arissa <laughs> is sometimes right, but often wrong. And this is one of those things she's wrong about. <laughs> she's come around to country music I, a little bit. I just... No, nope. it's okay. Not I'm not no good. I would not ever, ever in my life turn on a country music radio station ever. It's just ridiculous. But listen to our song. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's, it's like what I would it's, call... It's a crossover. A medium, I would say it's a happy medium, yeah. Which is us in general. Yeah. Genre is an elusive thing when it comes to us. But it's true. Um, it's an upbeat song. It's fun. I think it, it's, it very much tells a story. I think you'll really, really like it. And I think people um, will really relate to it. So you can go to all of the streaming platforms. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Prime Music. And if you stream, that's awesome. If you go to our website at theneighborlymusic.com and you download it there, that actually helps us more directly. And we would greatly appreciate that. Share it with your friends. We have a really, really cool video coming out. Yes. We're really proud of it. Dan Connell mm -hmm. and Chris Champion shot this really beautiful video over the, the Mar. I think it's Mar. I think that's the name of the farm. The homestead. It's really, really beautiful. It's all, got all these beautiful drone shots. It's going to be really cool. And that's coming out. And if you share that, interact with that, with your circle of influence, that helps us too. In fact, that probably right. helps us more than anything else if you just share stuff with your friends. It's, it's sort of like the modern day way you distribute art. If you believe in what we're doing and think this stuff is cool, please consider doing that because it really goes a long way. It helps us so much. It's been a great year. Thank you, guys. Hope you check it out. Thank you. Home today. Home today. <laughs>